In this video, let us continue to solve more problems based on complex numbers. All right, here we've got a problem which reads like this. Write the following complex numbers in the polar form. So what we've got here is uh, minus 1 minus i is the complex number that we've got, which we have to write it in the polar form. All right, so to write any complex number in the polar form, we need two things. One is the modulus of the given complex number, and another thing is the argument of the given complex number. That's because Let's say if this is the complex number z equals minus 1 minus i, then the polar form of this complex number minus 1 minus i is going to be of this form, which is r times cos theta plus i sin theta, where r is the modulus of the complex number and theta is the argument of the complex number. So therefore, let's first find the modulus of the given complex number. So first, let us start off by finding the modulus of, of the given complex number. That is nothing but r equals, we need r, right? So r is nothing but the mod of z. So that is equal to square root of minus 1 whole square plus minus 1 whole square. Because in this case, a is minus 1 as well as b is minus 1. So therefore, we have mod of z equals square root of 1 plus 1, which is equal to square root of 2. So, r equals mod of z equals square root of 2. So, one part of this problem is done. That is, we found r. Now, all that we have to do is find theta, which is nothing but the argument of the given complex number. So, to find the argument of the given complex number, you know, it is of two steps. First, we have to find something called as the alpha. So, alpha is given by tan inverse mod of the imaginary part of the complex number divided by the real part of the complex number, right? So, Alpha equals tan inverse mod of the, the imaginary part of the complex number is nothing but minus 1 and so is the real part of the complex number. So which makes it 1. So alpha equals tan inverse mod of 1. So tan of what is 1? Tan of 45 degrees is 1, right? So we have alpha equals pi by 4 or tan of pi by 4 equals 1. But the important thing is alpha being equal to pi by 4. Now, to find the argument of the given complex number, we also have to see where the imaginary part and the real part of the complex number is. I mean, are they greater than 0 or less than 0 or what it is. So, in this given case, the imaginary part of the complex number is less than 0 and so is the real part of the complex number. Both of them are less than 0. So, in that case, the argument of the complex number is given by alpha minus pi, right? So, which is nothing but alpha is pi by 4 minus pi. So, you solve this, you get divided by 1. So, write it as a fraction and, you know, doing all the LCM part, we get uh, is minus 3 pi by 4. So, that's what we've got the argument of the given complex number as. So, the argument of minus 1 minus i is nothing but minus 3 pi divided by 4. So therefore, so therefore, substituting the values of r and theta in this equation, we get z equal to r is given by root 2 and cos theta is given by the argument of the complex number, which is nothing but minus 3 pi by 4. So it will be cos of minus 3 pi by 4 plus i times sine of minus 3 pi by 4, right? So, it will be z equal to square root of 2. You know that cos of minus theta is just cos theta. So, therefore, it will be cos of 3 pi by 4. And you know that sine of minus theta is minus sine theta. So, it will be minus i sine of 3 pi by 4. So, this is the polar form of the given complex number minus 1 minus i. All right, it's nothing but z equals square root of 2 times cos of 3 pi by 4 minus i sine of 3 pi by 4. So that ends this problem as well as this video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more such problems based on complex numbers.